This is the Iowa Weather Report for Tuesday, September 3rd, 2013. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, we have a ridge over the uh, Colorado and New Mexico area. We have a north to northwesterly flow aloft. That's going to keep the temperature semi-cool for this time of the year with highs in the 70s north and east to low to mid 80s south and west after morning lows in the 40s and 50s across the area. And that'll be the same with high pressure overhead with light winds, so we'll have some cool nights ahead. But unfortunately, that high pressure begins to move off a little bit to our south. We have another one off to our north. But the temperatures do start to warm up. Highs will be in the upper 70s north, northeast to mid to upper 80s south and west with mainly sunny skies. We could see a very isolated shower late Wednesday night, especially in the western counties, but the GFS really isn't showing it as high pressure noses back in from the northwest over the Great Lakes with highs still remaining at around 80 to 85. The winds turn around to the southwest here on Friday with temperatures likely into the mid 80s, maybe upper 80s in some areas with some rain showers across the Dakotas with the new storm moving into the Pacific Northwest. And you can see that frontal system begin to show up a little bit better with another high pressure coming in from Canada. So we could see some isolated activity here on Saturday. It'll be very isolated, maybe 20 to 30 percent crack at some showers there. And then on Sunday, that high pressure moves off into the Great Lakes, and you can see that frontal system begins to lift back north as a warm front. So the northern and northeastern counties look to have the best chance of it seeing any shower and thunderstorm activity here on Sunday. And then on Monday, that lifts to the north, but here comes another cold front coming in from the north and west. And this could be bringing us to our next best chance statewide for showers and thunderstorms as late Monday, Monday night into next Tuesday. And you see that a week from today, you can see that trough kind of digging in across the northern tier of the country as the ridge to our south begins to weaken a little bit in the middle but it expands over the four corners and over the south and east but it's this trough that will bring a frontal system through here Monday night into Tuesday but behind it you can see this high pressure over Saskatchewan is going to nose in and that's going to bring some much cooler air as we head into the middle of the month into the extended period though you can see the ridge is back in place again a 588 circle over from about Chicago to about Cincinnati a fairly decent trough moving into the north and west but this ridge really isn't that warm we should say it'll bring seasonal readings you can see a tropical system over the Gulf that could be moving into Texas and that system over the northwest bringing some showery activity there then at the end of the forecast on the 19th or 18th or around then we have a ridge trying to pump up over the middle part of the country it's kind of an omega block type pattern a trough over New England bringing a high pressure and very cold conditions the 540 line all the way down in New England that means some of the upper higher elevations in New England could see some snow but around here we'll have winds out of the south and temperatures warming back up around 80 the satellite image from last evening, it showed no cold weather. It showed a cold front moving through the eastern part of the country with the low pressure center up in Canada and some showery activity with some thunderstorms over the west. The watch warning map from last evening, we had some flash flood watches in New England, some over the Intermountain West. We had an air quality alert around the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and otherwise it was fairly quiet and tranquil across the country. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days due Saturday evening at 7 o'clock showing rainfall across the western part of the state with those isolated storms in the midweek period could be about a tenth of an inch. Otherwise, it's going to be dry until this coming weekend.